Are Yuta or Rika gonna die to Sukuna? Let's talk about it. Considering he's one of the most powerful characters inside of the Kelvin games right now, I'd be surprised he doesn't show up in like the next 10 chapters. And with Rika being like the second most powerful cursed spirit besides maybe Mahito, but he's a Pokeball right now, so he doesn't count. And being the queen of curses and Sukuna's the king of curses, I find it pretty likely for them to smack into each other eventually. Because while Yuji's taking his dirt nap and Angel is playing the role of a Big Mac, our leftover protagonists are just stuck praying to God that he does not open a Malevolent Shrine on their ass, because Maki is just straight up dead if he opens a Malevolent Shrine. But before Yuta actually takes the heat off from, like, Sukuna, I imagine that would be Takaba's role. Because while Takaba is a very strong character with a very busted curse technique in theory, there is also no way he is beating Ryomen Sukuna. And Jujutsu Kaisen, if your name is not Gojo, Megami, or Yuji, you have zero chance of ever being the one to finally put down Sukuna in the story. Maybe you can play back up. I'm by no means saying that Megami and Yuji are nearly as strong as the other characters, but these three characters have had the most personal interaction with Sukuna compared to everybody else. And while Yuta is a unit, he's kind of been relegated to supporting character status in JJK, and he already fought a major villain in Ghetto in JJK Zero. That being said, Yuta is no joke, and if he has a confrontation with Sukuna, he is going to have some excellent showings, because he will pull out all the stops against this guy. Like Kashimo, Kashimo is definitely going to turn up, and Kashimo is pretty strong, and he does have that super cool hidden technique that we've heard him talk about. But honestly, I wish he never talked about it at all, because saying you have a super cool technique to kill one person puts your success rate to like 10% in anime. Because I'll tell you how Kashimo is probably going to end. He's going to go up to Sukuna, they're going to fight, and then everyone on the sidelines is going to talk about how cool they look fighting and how powerful ancient sorcerers must have been. He's going to pull out his ultimate technique, fire it at Sukuna, Sukuna will get injured and be like, wow, you almost got me, you bastard, and then he'll fucking die. I suspect his curse technique is going to be something that like deletes 95% of the cast, but he's going to wind up using it on like one of the only characters who will do absolutely nothing to in the long term. And while Kishimo may be dead at that point, he'll be alive in our dreams because he'll be used in power scaling videos after his amazing feat in the ending fight. And while I think it's less likely Yuta dies, I think it's far more likely that Rika dies because there's just no way Yuta is getting out of a fight with Sukuna unscathed. And considering he has reverse curse technique, the idea of giving him any actual like damage that's going to be the lasting is kind of impossible. So naturally, you just kill his pet instead. And this would be a hard nerf to Yuta going forward, but we might also see new things from him and he could have a new character arc. But I have to say this though, Yuta is a character I would love to see Tassel Sakuna because he just has such a cool vibe to him. Like the idea of having this massive curse spirit attached to you is just so different from what most of the characters have. I also love from Jujutsu Kaisen Zero how a lot of the characters reacted to it. I mean, it really depends on where Gege wants to take Maki and Yuta's character as well, because they kind of have a thing for each other, and if Yuta dies, it could be used as growth for her character, but if they live, it could also be used as growth. Realistically, I think we're all just waiting for Sukuna to just crack open a Maharaga on everybody. First of all, after seeing New, we all want to see how growth hormone this monstrosity is going to be. If New looks like a roided out albatross, what the hell is Maharaga going to look like? Because this is kind of a nightmare scenario that the characters are in, which is honestly why I think this chapter is one of the best chapters in Jujutsu Kaisen's history of chapter 212 to 213. Because this part is like really the final plot line of Jujutsu Kaisen. I mean, even Sukuna said it himself, it's all a gamble from here. Like Sukuna played the long game and it looks like it paid off. And while it'll probably not pay off in the long term, he is definitely going to kill a non-insignificant amount of people before he is put in the dumpster. Honestly, Honestly, I don't think any of our supporting characters are safe right now. I think the safest character is probably Maki, and like I said, I don't think I think Yuta is a lot less likely to die than Rika, but his chances are still higher than Maki's are for sure. And Maki just had the payoff for like a really long-standing plot line of hers, and she wiped out the whole Zenin family. And while we have plenty of other Jujutsu Sorcerer characters that can use curse techniques, uh, we don't have another Toji replacement like her. She's really kind of the only one with a heavenly restricted body like that, so she's not particularly replaceable and i've made two videos on yuji's fate already and he's just not gonna die like he more than any other character in this series is not going to die we do not even have the reveal of like his plot line who his parents were it makes zero sense to kill him gege is not a stupid writer you don't kill characters off in the middle of their arcs usually and this is not one of those cases i've made multiple harry potter references on this channel but um i'll make one more yuji is probably going to die in jujutsu kaisen but 
but he's going to die at the proper moment and this is not the proper moment and if he does quote unquote die from this he's gonna come back and then he'll probably die again so that's really my last thoughts that i could possibly have on yuji i'm just waiting for the next chapter to come out so i can unhook my IV drip of copium because then we'll have all new things to talk about and i hope we get some major reveals so it's not just like another painful week man honestly no matter what happens i love Jujutsu kaisen so much gege is just so good at making the finer details of the story hard to predict even if we know where like the overall plot lines are heading for the most part but that's all I really have to say so thanks for watching guys and this was a bit more of a a freeform video than I'm used to making I'll have a more structured one coming out later in the week but these videos take a long time to edit so I wanted to get something out to you guys before the chapter releases get my final thoughts out there and if you like content like this subscribe for more and as always thanks for watching